I want to say a special thank you to all the people who have written comments on my little editorials every day, and I do enjoy reading them, many of them negative, some of them positive, but what I do appreciate, and I thought particularly poignant, was the comment made by one of my subscribers, I guess from Scotland, who said that many of the comments I made about Western Canada often seem to pertain to Scotland. Well, it's true of every small country that has not yet become sovereign. It's true of many parts of these large empires that have had to succeed by secession. And that is, they had to acquire the ownership of their own resources. And the sad fact of the matter is that Scottish oil, which has been the backbone of the English economy for a long time, is being treated very much like Western Canadian oil has been treated in Confederation. It is, in effect, the process of empires to extract resources from their regions, just like Rome did. That's why they were so rapacious about continually uh, invading and conquering other territory, because it was for the purpose of plunder. And these large social entities, whether they're called empires, or whether they're called confederations, or whether they're called the United Kingdom, are all based on one fundamental process. That is the process of exploiting the regions by the populated areas of the center. And that's being done in the United Kingdom, it's being done many times in the United States, and it's definitely being done in Canada to extract from the West, to bribe the voters of the East, and stay in power by manipulating the information so that no one in the regions knows why they're being robbed or how they're being robbed. And that's what's being done to Western Canada. It's, it's what's been done to Scotland for hundreds of years now, and that's why I encourage all small nations yearning to be free that their growth and development is the path to peace in the world. Small nations do not make war, empires do. And therefore, uh, we must encourage the freedom of small nations to be free. And also, of course, we, in our own backyard, we have to free the West.